I'm Alex and this is Technical. Choosing the best microphone for live streaming is a complicated process. There's a wide range of factors to consider, which makes suggesting specific hardware as a universal recommendation nearly impossible. That said, those factors will be outlined in this video, giving you the information you need to make an educated decision. There are two main kinds of microphones, dynamic and condenser. Each comes in a variety of styles that all have their own intended use cases. Dynamic microphones are self-powered, meaning that the pressure from the sound waves hitting the diaphragm or sensor of the microphone generates the electrical signal, which then generates an output sound. Because they're self-powered like this, dynamic mics are generally less sensitive to sound. This gives them more pronounced rejection properties, reducing the overall volume of ambient sounds like PC fans, keyboards, people talking in other rooms, etc. Most live music performances are captured with dynamic mics like the Shure SM58 because of how well they reject ambient noise. This is an audio test of the Shure SM58 dynamic microphone via XLR with the mic preamp while typing on Cherry MX Blue switches. The trade-off for this stronger rejection is dynamic mics require a lot of gain to get a proper signal. Condenser mics, on the other hand, typically require phantom power, an electrical charge generated by the interface connected to it, which energizes the diaphragm. They're highly sensitive to sound waves, making them ideal for studio recording or in applications where ambient sound isn't a concern. Condenser mics give more presence to minute details in sound, which typically makes your voice sound more detailed. The trade-off with condenser mics is they're more sensitive to all sounds, not just the subtle nuances of your voice. This is an audio test of the Audio Technica AT2035 large diaphragm condenser microphone via XLR while typing on Cherry MX Blue switches. Affordable USB condenser mics like the Blue Yeti or Samson Meteor are often highly recommended for live streaming due to their relatively high quality and minimal setup requirements. But in a live production environment, they're actually less than ideal because of how sensitive they are. They might make your voice sound very full and detailed, but they'll also make every other noise as detailed and full. This is fine if you're recording in a controlled environment or plan to edit the audio in post-production, but it creates a headache in a live setting as you're constantly fighting ambient noise on the fly. A better recommendation would be large diaphragm broadcast style dynamic mics like the Golden Age Project D2. The Shure SM58 is widely regarded as the standard in live audio recording, but its money sound requires good equalization to make it sound correct. When it comes to interfaces, there are almost as many options as there are kinds of microphones. Again, there are some very popular recommendations that are actually less than ideal. Focusrite's Scarlet line of audio interfaces tops most recommendation lists, but their Windows drivers are frankly horrendous, rendering otherwise great hardware borderline useless, especially for live production. I recommend Behringer's Euphoria line of XR interfaces, specifically the 204 HD. It has all of the inputs and outputs you need for a single PC streaming setup, sounds excellent, and is very affordable. Unfortunately, and this is true of pretty much all consumer grade audio interfaces, you need a dedicated mic preamp or phantom powered mic activator to get a proper audio level with most dynamic mics. This is an audio test of the Golden Age Project D2 large diaphragm broadcast style microphone via XLR without a mic preamp while typing on Cherry MX switches. This is an audio test of the Golden Age Project D2 large diaphragm broadcast style dynamic microphone with a mic preamp while typing on Cherry MX blue switches. This is partly why condenser mics are the most common recommendation as they typically don't require extra hardware to get a usable signal. I recommend the Simply Sound Company's SS-1 Phantom Power Mic Activator. It goes in line between your mic and interface using phantom power to apply 25 dB of gain to the signal. So while you might need less hardware to use a condenser mic, in the long run the extra investment with a dynamic mic pays off. With all that out of the way, you should have a pretty good understanding of why dynamic microphones are best in a live production environment. That being said, your options aren't limited to expensive dynamic microphones that require dedicated interfaces and additional hardware to get working. The Samson Q2U is a dynamic microphone with XLR and USB as well as a headphone jack. That means it has everything you need to start streaming now. I found out about the Q2U from friend of the channel Epos Fox. He did a full review of the microphone weighing its pros and cons. The conclusion we've both come to is that at $55, the Q2U is the best dynamic microphone for the money under $100. 
There are definitely better microphones that are more expensive, but for 55 bucks, you cannot go wrong with the Q2U. Because it has both USB and XLR, you can add an interface down the line to get more control and quality out of it. It also doesn't require as much power as a large diaphragm broadcast style dynamic microphone, which means you probably don't need a phantom power mic activator or external preamp to get a good signal out of it. This is an audio test of the Samson Q2U dynamic microphone via XLR without a mic preamp while typing on Cherry MX Blue switches. This is an audio test of the Samson Q2U dynamic microphone via XLR with a microphone preamp while typing on Cherry MX Blue switches. This is an audio test of the Samson Q2U dynamic microphone via USB while typing on Cherry MX Blue key switches. My interface recommendation of the Behringer 204 HD should be more than enough to drive this mic properly. So if you're looking for an affordable solution to get live streaming today, the Samsung Q2U is my recommendation. In the long run, I still recommend a more expensive large diaphragm broadcast style dynamic microphone like the D2. But the Q2U is my go-to recommendation for anyone that wants to get into live streaming now without investing in additional hardware just yet. I'm Alex and this has been Technical. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment saying what you appreciated about it. For future videos, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.